Growing up, I always wished that I looked more like my mom. I always had a weird internal complex in my mind, not about being white, but about looking white. I grew up really close to my mom's side of the family. Our Lolo lived in home with me, my siblings, and my two parents, still does. My mom's two sisters lived in Maryland growing up, so we were around our other half Filipino cousins a lot. My dad, he grew up in Long Island, New York, so a lot of our family still lives there, and we would see them once or twice a year. I think I always just felt a stronger sense of closeness with my mom's side of the family. Being half Filipino and being half Asian was always something that we were really proud of growing up. But for me, I also felt the sense of otherness. It was like the butt of every joke on that side of the family growing up was always, oh, Lauren's the white one. The printer ran out of ink. You should do the 23andMe test because we want to see your Filipino percentage. We grew up in a very white area in Annapolis, Maryland. And so I kind of grew up in this white bubble. I looked like my peers. I grew up with them. And so there wasn't really a disconnect. And it's weird, a lot of the affirmation that I would get of my Filipino heritage didn't come from my family. It came from my white teachers and white peers growing up. It gave me a unique factor. I think a lot of people valued that. But even then, there are a few instances where people meet my mom and say, oh, you two look nothing alike. We make jokes and I've heard from family friends that are also Filipino that, you know, standing next to my Lolo or standing next to my mom, I look like I could have been adopted. I know it doesn't come with any harsh intent, but it does make me question who I am. You know, I feel a sense of closeness. I feel a sense of belonging with my family, but at the same time in those circles, I feel like an imposter. I remember telling my mom that on standardized tests when I was little, I would circle the white bubble and I wouldn't fill in the Asian one. In white circles, it is something to celebrate. It can be my fun fact that I'm half Filipino, but then at the same time, I feel like I'm tokenizing it. And it sounds counterintuitive for me to say that I wish that I looked less white. I feel ridiculous because I understand that, I understand that being white passing gives me a sense of privilege. You know, I'm not trying to be that person that's like, oh, you want to be oppressed so bad. And another level of me almost feels guilt. I love my dad. I love my dad's side of the family. I love that I feel a sense of belonging there too. I feel guilty for having this sense of shame surrounding that I look like them. I think what I've come to terms with is that I can have a sense of pride about being biracial. And being biracial doesn't look the same for everybody. And a big strong tie to that is my Lolo, growing up with him in home and having that relationship with him. This is Lumpia Rapping 101 Take 3. It's a big part of just what brings us back and what always ties us to that Filipino side of ourselves. I can't change how I look. I can't change how people look at me or how they see it. The important thing is that I know who I am.